Hi. Welcome to the introduction, installation, and usage tutorial for Stylize Comp Master. As shown on the screen, this is a powerful plugin that can render any 3D scene into a stylized effect with just one click. First, let's open Blender's Preferences, go to Add-ons, and install the downloaded zip file. Once installed, you'll see the Stylize Comp Master interface appear in the end panel. Next, you'll notice three main sections, the Author Information panel, the Main Functionality panel, and the Effect Parameter Adjustment panel. On the Main Functionality panel, there are four buttons. Let me explain them one by one. The first two buttons are Activate Node Setup and Show Composite Effects. Before selecting an effect, you need to activate these two buttons to enable effect selection and visualization, like this. Keep in mind that if the first button isn't activated, you won't be able to select any effects, so make sure to turn it on first. Now, let's talk about the third button. When this button is activated, you won't be able to add multiple effects. This is a safeguard mechanism to prevent excessive clicks from overloading your computer and causing Blender to crash. However, in most cases, you can disable this button to lift the restriction and add more effects. Finally, let's move on to the fourth button. If you encounter any issues, such as composite effects not working or failing to display properly, you can click this button to reset all composite effects, which will restore them to normal functionality. Next, you'll find a drop-down menu located below the four buttons. This menu contains three preset categories, user saved categories, and individual effect categories. In the effects panel, you'll also notice buttons for moving layers up and down. These allow you to switch between different layer effects. The arrangement of the layers can result in varying visual outcomes, so feel free to experiment with them. Next, let me quickly demonstrate the full workflow of applying effects. Once you've created the desired effect, you can save it to the plugin for future use. Here's my recommendation. First, take a screenshot of your scene or render an image, then click the Save button. Enter a name and select the screenshot image you just took, and the effect will be saved to the user preset category. In the future, you can easily apply your saved effects to other projects, making your workflow much more efficient. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.